everyone, it's Rose, and today I have a cheap and cheerful special for you. There are three diamond paintings from FG Normal that we're going to look at today, and every single one of them is less than $10 US. Not only that, but if you use code ROSE10OFF, you'll get an additional 10% off all of the amazing prices that you'll find on FG Normal. So don't forget, use the code. All right, let's get into the diamond paintings now. Alrighty then. So today we have three, what I consider fun diamond paintings. Uh, we have number 731, number 733, and number 734. And I wanted to, um, they're out of order because I wanted to do a cheap and cheerful video where everything is cheap and cheerful so uh you can't get much cheaper than that and they're kind of cool too this first one um which i'll show you the kit for uh standard kit it's got a few bags there as well as the uh wax and the pen and the tray uh all very good this is number 731 and it's the luminous mandala so this has lots and lots of glow in the dark drills so all these white drills that we see here that's glow in the dark and um they're very cool <laughs> i gotta say i do love my glow in the dark uh, mandalas now Okay, so uh, this is a 30 by 30 canvas. So I'm expecting it's gonna be about 24 or 25 by the same. And I thought the colors were very interesting. The blues and the oranges and the teals. So, oh, this is 26 from edge to edge. Interesting. And let's see if it's the same up and down. Yep, it's 26 by 26. Yeah, that's a bigger, that's a little bit bigger than most of them. And as you see, it came out very, very flat. Now I do feel some wrinkles in the cover plastic, so I'm just gonna pull the cover plastic back. Whoops. And lay it back down again using my bone folder, B-O-N-E folder. Um, and you can get these at Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby or anything, you know, any kind of art supply store. Uh, and you'll pay seven, eight, nine, ten dollars US for it. Uh, you can get it on AliExpress or, um, eBay for a dollar, uh, if you're willing to wait. Uh, I paid a dollar and, uh, I'm very happy with it. You get exactly the same thing as you would get in Joann's. Uh, okay, so, um, oh, and you can also buy these in some dollar stores, so they are handy uh, because they have no sharp edges on them, and so I use them for all kinds of things, to flatten canvases and to, you know, work um, rivers out of some of my diamond painting uh, canvases, etc. So, uh, this is very, very pretty. I like it, and it has... 16 colors, which is a lot of colors for a special shaped mandala diamond painting. So there you go. There's the uh, 500 YG. That YG means glow in the dark. And um, did I say 5200 YG? That's what I meant to say. I have no idea if that's what my mouth actually said. Uh, because as I was playing it back in my head afterwards, it's like, not sure that's what I said, but anyway. Um, and I'm happy to see that they have the DMC numbers for the regular round drills, because you see we do have some regular round drills in here. Uh, and then we get into some of the special shapes, and they also have their identification numbers. So uh, that means it'll be easy to put these away with others like them that I may already have in my stash. So 16 different kinds of diamonds, that's, that's quite a lot. And so we'll just take a look at sort of one quadrant of this because it's uh, a repeating pattern. 
So we only have to look at about a quarter of it to really get a good sense of what the entire mandala is going to be. So all those ones that you see are glow-in-the-dark drills. So this is going to be really, really pretty when you turn the lights out. Really, really pretty. Um, but there are so many other colors that it's going to be very interesting to look at in the light as well. And it's going to be fun to do. I like it. Yep. I like it a lot. Very nice, isn't it? Okay, let's take a look at the drills. So the drills come all in one strip. And uh, here we have two bags of these glow-in-the-dark drills. And then, well, we'll take a look from the other side. And then we've got these sort of green, and then these yellowish orange, and then this gorgeous blue, and then a darker blue. Oh, and then we get into the specials. So we have these seed-shaped dark blue crystal drills, very pretty. And they look to be pretty good quality. And I call these uh, talons because they're often used for the talons on owls on special shaped diamond paintings and beaks and things like that. Uh, very pretty. Oh, look at that. That's an interesting color. I like that. And these are round topped drills, no facets. Uh, and they look to be pretty good. Some of them have little divots in them, but nothing that I'm overly concerned about. That's very interesting. Ooh, and then these gold studs. Great big ones. Very nice. And then we have little gold studs. Also very nice. And then the purple domed crystal drills. Beautiful. And then just a few of these blue sapphire crystal drills. Uh, and these are faceted. They don't have a um, iridescent coating on them, so that's okay. Oh, but then we have these, and they are faceted seed-shaped drills. They do have an iridescent coating on that beautiful green. Lovely. And then these gorgeous long blue drills with the iridescent coating. I love it. And then these pearl drills. And finally, we have a few more seed-shaped, clear, iridescent, faceted drills. Gorgeous! Oh, this is going to be so much fun to work on. I really like it. This will, this will be a few hours of work. And then, you know, wherever you put it up, it'll be fun to look at. And so you're getting the hours of enjoyment of working on it, as well as the hours and potentially years of enjoyment of looking at it afterwards. All right, I'm going to put away the drills, and I'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. That is number 731, uh, Luminous Mandala, 26 by 26, special shapes, 16 different kinds of drills, and less than $10 US. That is pretty awesome. Okay, so next up, we have a Rose Tries, and this is for Tammy with an I. And Tammy asked me to try this out for her a little while ago, and I thought, sure, uh, because I wasn't sure how it would turn out. So this one is called Garden Horses. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called on the website. So I'm just going to, it came through really, really well. It's just got a little tiny bit of a curl to it. So I'm just gonna roll it back on itself here to get rid of the little bit of curl in the edges. There we go, now it's perfectly flat, pretty much. Let's do this side here, there we go. Okay, so uh, this is Garden Horses, and this is also less than $10 US, and um, I wasn't sure how it would turn out. Now this 
is um, just trying to check to see whether it is new style or old style. Sometimes it's harder to tell. Okay, so this appears to be new style. And it is hard to tell because um, some of the guidelines that I usually look for, they don't appear on this diamond painting. So, um, so it, it is turning out better than I would have expected it to. Uh, it's not as clear as I would love, but it, it does look really nice through the camera. So Tammy, I'm going to leave it up to you to decide whether you think this is enough. It has a lot of colors, it has 30 colors, and that makes all the difference in the world to the way that this diamond painting looks because it's all those colors that make all the detail come through. Um, so that's really, really good that you're getting 30 colors for, um, for this kit. Um, the colors are nice and bright and yeah, it's, um, it's a surprisingly good image. So let's measure. And this one here is 33 and a half, so we'll call it 34 by 24. Okay, so um, horses is not a subject that I normally would choose for myself. Uh, so the only reason you're seeing this on my channel is because it is a rose tries. So let's take a look at the legend. And we have DMC numbers on the legend, which appears on both sides of the canvas, by the way. Uh, not on the bags, but I don't care about that. Uh, we do have a percent sign there, which I'm not overly excited about. An ampersand. Uh, we have a star. And then up here we have just a dot, but you're not going to confuse those two because one is, on, uh, is a white on black or dark color and the other is... Uh, dark on a light color and then we've got the amp uh, the ampersand uh, not the ampersand the octothorpe uh, number sign which I um, sometimes also have a little bit of trouble reading but let's see how this looks on the canvas so there's the percent sign and it's pretty clear actually uh, I don't love percent signs because I just think they're very very busy characters um, but it's coming through fine. And the ampersands here are just fine as well. So the only thing we're left looking for is the octothorpe, also known as a hashtag or a number sign. Um, and you see how I had to look for an area like this where there was color of a different color that came through behind uh, the round drill circles. That's how I know that it is a new style canvas. And where's that octothorpe? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there must not be a lot of it. Pretty, pretty colors on this canvas. I will say that. And if you do like horses, this might be the thing for you. Why can't I find that number sign? I bet you you guys see it. There it is. Okay. That's pretty clear. Yeah, that's pretty clear. Um, yeah. So I think this canvas will be pretty good to work on. As we pull back from it, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Like I'd say I'm probably about three feet away, three, three and a half feet away with the camera. And uh, it looks quite good through the camera. It looks pretty good just with my eyes. Um, so yeah, even though it's not the sort of thing that I would choose, um, Tammy, I'd be really, really interested in knowing whether this is one that you will be uh, getting after this. Uh, now, I will be showing us the 
drills in just a second, but here's the kit, first off. Standard kit. Everything you need, nothing you don't. All right, I'll be right back and we'll take a look at the drills. Okay, so the colors for these drills are really, really nice. Um, you know, quite apart from the horse colors, uh, we've got a whole bunch of beautiful bright colors for the flowers and uh, the trees and so forth. So uh, it'll be a fun diamond painting to work on. And I believe I have one, maybe two ugly diamond paintings that, uh, that I can show you. And I don't know if I have any FG Normal finishes, but I will stick those in here as well if uh, if I do. And um, just show you what some of my viewers have been working on. And I don't know if I have updates for project of the month. Um, if I do, it's only one or two. So I think I might wait until uh, next week and uh, do a little segment that has project of the month updates in it so that um, it's not just one or two that you see that today um, yeah so if you would like me to try a diamond painting for you all the information that you need is on your screen right now um, send me the link to my email at ramblingrosedp at gmail.com. Put Rose Tries in the subject line and include the link to the diamond painting that you would like me to try for you and why you want me to try it. Like what is it about it that has you on the fence about buying that diamond painting? And I um, will let you know whether it's something that I'll try for you. Now, my list of rose tries is starting to get quite long. So uh, there are some that have been on the list for a while, and I'm thinking, you know what? I thought I was going to order them, but now I'm thinking I probably won't be ordering them. So uh, I, I will be writing to some of you who um, had previously asked me to try something for you uh, to tell you I won't be trying it after all, um, just simply because... I don't think it's fair to keep you waiting for it to come up in a video. So, uh, so hopefully you won't get one of those emails, but I just do want to let you know that, um, that I will be sending some of those out in the next few days. I'll talk a little bit here about um, how I shop for diamond things. So, when I go shopping for diamond paintings in a store like FG Normal, I do a few things. The first thing I always do is I check out their new releases. And, um, and I will add a bunch of things to my cart that really attract me from the new releases. Uh, the next thing I do is I go to the cart, like I check the cart and see what did I check, what did I put in my cart in a previous order that I haven't, um, that I, have, that I didn't actually order. And am I still interested in getting those? Um, and so sometimes I, I am still interested, but sometimes I've changed my mind and it's like, yeah, no, I don't want that one after all. So I delete that item from my cart. And then the last thing I do is I go, sometimes it's the first thing I do. Um, these things don't happen in a particular order all the time. Um, they just all happen. And so the other thing that I do is I go to my Rose Tries list and um, I go through all the pictures because what I do is I keep pictures in the spreadsheet of all of um, the diamond paintings that people have said that they'd like me to try for them. And um, I decide what do I feel like ordering uh, or what did I see on this website? Uh, because if I've seen something on the website, it's like, I know that's one of my rose tries and I put it in my cart. Uh, sometimes I don't see it on the website and, um, because I don't always order from the store that you send me a rose tries request from. So you send me a link. I may not order from that store. I may order it from a different store because I happen to see it in the other store when I'm shopping. Um, so 
what this means is I don't go down my list of rose tries and and do them in the order that I received them. I don't order them in in the same order as I received them. I order them according to how I feel on a particular day and what I saw on whatever website I was shopping on on that day. Um, so what that means is that sometimes the stars just don't align. And so I just don't get around to ordering a particular diamond painting uh, that I said to somebody I was, you know, I was open to, to getting. Uh, and then I start feeling guilty. <laughs> and so it's like, I felt it at the time, but I just don't feel it now. And, uh, and so that's why at this point, I have some that have been on my list for, you know, two or three months. And um, it's time to, to just, you know, either order them or uh, admit to myself that I'm not going to order them. And uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing is letting those people who asked me to order those ones know uh, that, yeah, I'm not going to be ordering them. Uh, if you don't hear from me, you can assume that I am still uh, very open to ordering whatever it was that you sent me. Um, and it's only if you've sent me something like months ago that, uh, that you should be concerned that you might be getting an email. Um, okay. So that is it. That is uh, number 733, Garden Horses. Uh, less than $10 US. And I think it turns out okay. Not great. I don't think it's great. Uh, but you may feel differently about this. And you may feel that this is just exactly the sort of thing that you would like. And if you do, Tammy, I would love to know how you feel about it. Okay. And so our last item... It's number 734, and again, because this is a cheap and cheerful theme, this one also is less than $10 US, and this is not a Rose Tries. This is a Rose Wants, and I have high hopes for this. I'm hoping that it will be a uh, new style diamond painting. It's got a standard kit, which is fine. I love the fact that it comes uh, pre-bagged, so I don't have to kit up this diamond painting. All I have to do is just draw the symbols on the bags. And yes, it is a new style diamond painting. And I call this one, what do I call it? I call it Blue Dragon. And the plastic is coming away from the uh, diamond painting, so I'm just going, well, not coming away. It, um, there are air pockets that formed in the creases. So I'm just going to flatten that out. And I'm going to try and get some of these creases out of the canvas here. Okay, so um, I like it. I was a little worried that if it was uh, going to be in the old style, it would not look good. Um, but it is not in the old style. It is in the new style. And so there's way more detail to it than just uh, the the pixels for the drills. And so we get a much better image uh, overall. And so if you like dragons, I think this is not a bad dragon uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I quite like it. It's, uh, it's a little one. I like the colors. Uh, we're going to take a look at those in just a minute. But right now we're going to measure... So this is 24 and a half, so we call it 25. Well, at least I call it 25 and 25. Um, yeah, and it's got 20 colors, which is not a lot of colors, but uh, because it's the new style, 20 colors goes a lot farther than it would on a pixel style round drill diamond painting. Uh, so let's take a look at the legend. And this is a very, very simple legend looks to me like it's just letters, not even numbers, just letters. Yeah, okay. So there we go. That's the legend. Very simple. I like that we've got DMC numbers on the legend. We also have DMC numbers on the bags. So, um, so that'll make uh, putting things away that much easier. And let's just take a look to see how well we can read the canvas. 
and it looks good to me. They have dark print on light colors and light print on darker colors. Yeah, it looks good. It is a mix of a little bit of color blocking and confetti. So you can definitely work with a multi-placer on this, but you'll be doing work with a single placer as well, which can be extremely relaxing. Oh, I do love the spines on the dragon. Really, really nice. This is good. This is, it's a really beautiful clear canvas. And like I'm about, I don't know, two and a half feet away from it. And it looks terrific. You know, the more you pull back, uh, the more terrific it looks. But like at two and a half feet, well now I'm like maybe a foot and a half away. Um, that looks really good. <laughs> Really good. I'm so happy with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very happy with this. Okay, uh, I'm going to get the drills ready and we're going to look at those next. Okie doke. So let's take a... Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, um, I'll tell you what I'm a little going huh about. And that is, I'm looking at this image and I don't see... Uh, any orange on it. There is orange on on the legend though. Um, and the orange appears as green on the canvas itself. And there should be a fair amount of it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, this is interesting uh, because you don't actually see orange on the canvas. Uh, and I'll, I'll put in a picture of the dragon again so that you can see uh, where this orange belongs. I just have a black and white printout of the image. So I don't know where the orange, um, like how the orange shows up on this, uh, but okay. So we've got orange, there we go. The rest of the colors look like they would be the right colors, so I'm not overly concerned about that. Uh, some really, really gorgeous colors. I mean, take a look at this green and these blues. This is going to be uh, beautiful. Just beautiful. And see, on the canvas, we don't really see yellow either. And yet, uh, I see where the yellow is. It's the J symbol, which you can't see, but there it is. Um, so I see where there's J's on the canvas. And so it just doesn't show up really as yellow on, on the canvas. But okay, this is gonna be really interesting to work on. Um, really, really interesting to work on because there's a lot more variety of color on this canvas than it looks like from looking at the canvas. Uh, that's a little unusual, um, but, um, but I'm totally game for that. So I am so tempted <laughs> to add this to my list of diamond paintings to do right away but I can't. Uh, I just can't because I am a little overwhelmed with everything that I have to finish in the next month. So, um, so this will this will go into my penny pick jar, and hopefully it'll come up soon because I definitely want to see how this one works up. Um, but look at the pops of color that are going to be on this. This is going to be really, really interesting. Just zoom out a little bit so you can see all that. This is going to be really interesting with those, you know, pale blues and the 
orange red and a bright yellow wow okay uh i'm i'm totally excited about doing this all right i'm gonna put these drills away and i'll be right back Alrighty, so there we go. Uh, that is number 734, Blue Dragon, 25 by 25, round drills, uh, 20 colors. I like it. I think it's going to look really good. And before that, we saw uh, number 733, Garden Horses. Um, 34 by 24 again around drills it's a rose tries for Tammy uh, Tammy it's got 30 colors and it is also done in the new style so these two are both done in the new style and um, they I, I, I personally don't love horses so I can't say I love this diamond painting but I think it looks pretty good through the camera and from a distance I don't love it close up I gotta say and then the first one we looked at is number 731 luminous mandala this one's going to be super fun to do uh, because all of the number ones on this canvas are glow-in-the-dark drills and they really do glow in the dark uh, it's really quite amazing uh, this is 26 by 26 which is a little bit bigger than most of the mandalas of this uh, size um, canvas it has 16 different kinds of special drills which is awesome and uh, everything you see here is less than ten dollars us which is amazing so I would say that in their own way all of these are winners uh, I chose these two and I am super happy with both of them uh, this as a rose tries I can't speak for Tammy so I don't know, um, but uh, it looks like it'll be fun to work on. And I think it'll look pretty good when it's done. So there you go, everybody. That is today's video. I would like to thank Reese from FG Normal for sending me these wonderful diamond paintings. And I want to thank all of my patrons and subscribers and viewers. Thank you so much. Uh, I do all of this for you, and I hope that, uh, that you enjoy it. So um, have a great, wonderful weekend, and enjoy the sunshine, and come back and visit with me again real soon. I love you all. Bye-bye for now.